the moment I wake up, before I put on my makeup, I say a little prayer for you. While combing my hair now and wondering where the dress to wear now, I say a little. Or am I an You say my heart and I will love you forever. We'll never be part of how I love you together. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. As you see, I have the mental moments. I'll be gone. I, I forgot to turn the uh, recorder on. But listen, I want to say something. I want and this is hopefully give hope to anybody that has been triangulated um, by their parents Um. And a lot of y'all that know the gist of how deep this stuff really gets. Um, and you have people in your family that you maybe even in your immediate family that you may be estranged from. And maybe not necessarily from your own doing, but from being triangulated by the uh, narcissist or the you know, psychopath, whoever, borderline, who, whatever label you want to put on it, those high conflict people, I like to call them. Um, but anyway, um, and a testimony is I'm, I'm so grateful that I had been estranged from one of my brothers and, um, again, God brings things back full circle. want the truth. And sometimes time have a way of healing things. You don't never want it to be too much, too little, too late for any kind of um, thing that could be standing between you and a loved one if it's not something that almost cost you your life. You understand what I'm saying? Um, if I ain't, you ain't tried to get me killed <laughs> Or try to kill me purposely. Um, I don't think it's any reason that, uh, and especially between um, uh, uh, family members, because they are the main ones that kill each other. A lot of people don't know that, but still, it's real important when y'all can get past some of those dynamics, understand how you've been triangulated, and how through therapy, through resolve that you have learned to have better tools in your closet, in your shed to use, to communicate, to express how you feel, uh, to emotionally uh, try to get healthy. That don't mean you, you're you going to be perfect, but what it does mean is that when you're on the road to recovery, on the road to healing, all things are possible. So I really want to thank the universe for allowing this uh, relationship between myself and one of my brothers who I had been estranged from for such a long time. But we love these each other so much because we were basically partners in crime. <laughs> and uh, just to have that brother back into my life, um, it means a whole lot to me. And so I thank the universe and I thank God for bringing him back into my life. So I thought it was very important that I say that. And if you got anybody in your life that you really, really are um, or have been estranged from, and if that person reaches out to you or you get the opportunity to reach out to them, do it. Do it. Because um, life is way, way too short. Okay? All right. And I hope... 
um, that message is hits directly the target that it should today. Okay, so if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share the channel, and um, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.